One of the most commonly used toolpaths in a route is the routing offset strategy, which is used anytime you need to cut something out. So in this introduction video, I'm going to cover the routing offset strategy and some of the common use cases. I have some geometry here that I want to cut out, so I need to apply a routing offset. In the simplest form, I can choose a tool. In this case, I'm going to use a quarter inch end mill, and I want to cut to a depth of half an inch. I can click OK, and the routing offset is applied to my geometry. In this case, I'm using the default feeds and speeds, so I'll likely want to fine tune the cut parameters before I actually cut this out, but it can be that simple to just define the depth and apply the toolpath. The toolpaths have arrows to indicate the direction the tool will move when cutting. In this case, the exterior toolpaths are moving in the anti-clockwise direction, and the whole toolpaths are moving in a clockwise direction, which indicates that this is a standard cut. The starting point is also shown by the green indicators here and here. Using the toolpath edit tools, I can also adjust the position of these starting points. I'm going to delete these toolpaths and reopen the routing offset strategy. And this time, I'm going to edit the cut parameters. A common scenario when cutting out parts is I might have a dense material that I need to cut out in multiple passes. So I can go into the cut parameters and increase the number of passes so that the routing offset is achieved in four passes. So each pass is removing less material. Now let's say this part I'm cutting needs to have a high quality surface finish, and I don't want to see the tooling marks from each pass. I can add another tool to the strategy, and in this case, I'm going to use another quarter inch end mill. You'll notice that the second tool is added as a clean tool. This tool will go back and clean up the surface after my rough cut. I can go into the parameters for the clean cut here, and I can fine tune the depth, the passes, and the speeds, but the important parameter for a clean cut is the cut width. The default value for the cut width is an eighth of an inch, meaning that the rough cut will be offset from the final surface by an eighth of an inch, and then the clean cut will come back and remove that last eighth inch of material. I can also specify the entry and exit parameters so that the tool will ramp into the material rather than starting immediately. In this case, I don't need to specify the material entry and exit, so I'm going to leave those set to none for now. Now that my cuts are defined, I can click OK and apply the toolpaths. And if I zoom in here, you can see that the rough pass is defined in blue and the clean cut pass is defined in green. And you can also see that the clean pass is offset to the inside of the roughing pass to clean up the final surface. There are many options to allow you to control the routing offset to get the cut you need. Most designs at some point will require a routing offset to cut out part of the design from the material, so it's a great strategy to learn first. That's a quick introduction to the routing offsets. Be sure to check out the Enroute knowledge base for complete descriptions of all the parameters.